Hey Wonderful Builders, thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to look at how to create collapsible wings. So these are wings that you can wear on your back and as you open your arms, the wings will expand and as you close your arms, the wings will retract or they'll collapse back down. So let's get started with doing some sketching. The first thing we're going to sketch out is the back plate. This is what you're going to wear on your back that will serve as an anchor for the wings. Uh, so let's start off with the top here, so we'll go like this. We'll just start off with doing quick sketches. It's always a good idea to start off any of your wonderful builds with just a sketch that kind of puts some of your ideas down on paper. So this would be uh, the shoulder line over here, for example. This would be where your arms would come out and this is the lower back. And we'll probably articulate this right in the middle here. Uh, and make this into two different uh, pieces. That way they can flex a bit with how you move. Um, at the top, we're gonna wanna strap this onto our back. So we'll probably need some strap parts here. So this would go, for example, around our, around our waist. And we probably want uh, some straps at the top here that goes down our shoulder. So let's just open that up a bit. There we go. And then we're going to use our strap connectors to actually put on some elastic straps to, to wrap this around us. But for now, that looks good. Uh, this is where our neck would come. So maybe we'll cut this in a bit to give us a little bit more space for our neck. There we go. So this is going to be the back plate that we kind of strap on and for a number of different projects, if it's not wings, if it's something else, if you need a back plate, uh, this is probably a good design to go with. Now from here, we got to draw the wings. Now the way we're going to do the wings is we're going to use the standard accordion kind of concept of collapsing and, and opening up. So imagine, for example, I'm just going to draw a sketch here, some lines. Imagine these are pieces of cardboard. We're just looking at the movement here. So I'm just going to draw these as lines. Uh, here's another piece going this way. Okay, now imagine for example that we actually have Wonderbolt connecting these cardboard pieces here, 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 and here. So as you push these pieces together, they'll collapse. And as you open them up, they'll expand. So these points here serve as pivots that allow you to collapse and open up uh, those cardboard strips. So we're gonna use the same idea here for designing the wings. So we're gonna have two anchor points on, uh, let's put this in blue. We're gonna have two anchor points here on the back. I'm gonna be on this side. I'll just draw one side of the wings first then we can draw the other side after. So from these anchor points, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one piece that goes out to about here. And I'm gonna draw these just as lines like we did down here and then we'll flush it out a bit more in terms of uh, the size of the pieces themselves. So let's say I'm gonna draw one piece here. We're gonna draw another piece, maybe going around here. Okay, so these are cardboard pieces that we're cutting out. And then we're gonna draw another piece that goes, uh, let's say right up to here. Let's use a ruler for this just to get it right. Okay, we're gonna draw another piece then going up in this direction. And then we're gonna have the wings. Now for the wings, I'm gonna curve this a bit. Let's make this actually look like wings. Go so something like this. Okay, so your, your Wonderbolt uh, pivot points are going to be at these intersections here. So we're going to have one right there, one over here, one here, one here, one here. So the idea here is kind of like an accordion, um, like this design over here. Now if you imagine that these are where your arms are coming out, so your arms are going to come out alongside this and be strapped in, so we'll probably have like a strap here that your arms can connect to onto this piece. So when you bring your arms down, it collapses the wings down. When you lift your arms up, they go up. 
Right, so we can look at it in the same same way on the other side here. Let's draw our anchor points. Right, and we'll go out here. Now we're going out out here. Alright, so this is the essential design. Now let's take a look at how we're going to do the cardboard for the wings themselves. Now, I recommend generally that the thickness of the cardboard or the width of the cardboard be at least two inches in most of your construction so that there's enough room for the wonder bolts to put in there without you know ripping out of the cardboard. So let's say this is about two inches here, we're going to go around. Now one piece here. All right, so this is going to be one piece of cardboard connected to the back plate. This next one as well, we're going to do another one here. We can always shape these a bit different around the corners and so on as we get to finalizing the shapes. So we're just going to draw the overall structure. There we go, so that'll be one piece there. We're going to do another piece here. So this one, and then we're going to draw another piece and this one will be more of a curved piece just to make it look more like wings. So these are going to be our cardboard pieces that we're going to be cutting out. So let's darken that up a bit just so we can see that clearly. There's a lot of lines here. So this one here is going to be one cardboard piece like this. We're going to have another cardboard piece like this and we can curve that a bit just to make it nicer. There we go. We're going to have this wing kind of go like that. Uh, this one here. A little higher there. And this one here, we can probably also go a little higher. There we go. So that's going to be the overall structure of the wings. So these are pieces we're going to cut out of cardboard to make the wings. We're going to pin them like this. We're going to make this back plate, and the back plate we're going to articulate here with some straps. So we'll use maybe one strap here, one strap here, one strap here. And that'll give some flexibility to the back plate. We're also going to put some strap connectors, and we'll do that after we're built. I won't draw them in here for now. Uh, but we'll put some strap connectors here. So the idea is that we have an elastic strap kind of uh, connected to this point. And that will go around your body and come back and connect to the back or connect to these uh, these pieces here. All right. So there we have it. That's going to be the design for our wings. Let's go ahead and start cutting these out of cardboard. Uh, actually, before we do that, let me just give you some measurements. So I've already pre-measured some of these pieces and get, gotten an idea of what we're looking at. So I'll put the measurements out here, and depending on uh, you know um, how large you want to make these, you just scale these up or scale them down uh, accordingly. So in this case, uh, the first measurement we're going to take is kind of be the basis for all the measurements. Let me take a different color here. It's going to be the measurement from the bottom of the neck to the waist. Okay, so that measurement is going to be 13 inches. 
Once you measure that, once you know what that measurement is, you're going to update, you're going to scale up or scale down all the other measurements to match in ratio with this height measurement here. Okay. So we've got about 13 inches there. Now let's say that we look at this from point to point. So from rotation anchor to rotation anchor, we're looking at about nine and a half inches. So you're going to add a little bit extra here for the one, go a little bit extra on this side. So Let's say you add from this rotation point another uh, an inch on this side and an inch on that side, you're really looking at 11 and a half inches on either side. Now this point here, it's the same thing from this point to this point, we'll measure that out. And that over there is 14 and a half inches. This measurement here, 14 and a half inches. And then from this point to this point here, six and a half inches. This point here, down to there, is 15 inches. And this distance here, the, the distance of the, of the wing itself, that's really up to you. You can make this really long, you can make it shorter, uh, that's up to you, but I'm putting it in at 24 inches. Uh, you can go longer if you want or shorter, depending on, on what you want, okay? Uh, the other thing to note as well, so from here, there's one more measurement, here to here, that's about 18 inches. Okay, so these are measurements we're going to use. Um, there's a lot of flexibility in your overall design. As long as you kind of maintain this idea of the measurements between the rotation points, all the extra stuff you do is up to you. You could, you know, you could increase this wing to be even wider. You can make this go even further this way. You can do a wave in here. It really doesn't matter. The most important thing is getting these rotation point measurements accurate. Right, so just like I said over here, the measurement from these two rotation points is nine and a half inches. So you want to add a little bit extra, at least another inch on either side to make sure you have room for the wonder bolt. So to all these measurements, you're always going to add an extra inch to either side to make sure you have room to put the wonder bolts in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the, uh, the cardboard construction. All right, so I'm going to start off by uh, cutting a piece for the back plate and then cut it in half and then we'll proceed with doing the wings. So for the back plate, I'll just add a few more measurements here. Uh, for the bottom part of the back plate, we'll make that six inches. And for the top width, we'll make that 11 inches. And uh, for the neckline over here, uh, we'll make that six inches as well. Just to give enough room for the neck area. All right, so let's get started with that.
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now that we've gotten all these outlines done is we're going to make uh, dots where all the wonder bolts are going to go so that we know where to punch the holes. All right, so now we've marked where all the wonder bolts are gonna go. We haven't marked the ones on the final wing because we'll adjust that after we set everything else up. We'll kind of decide where the best place to put this wing will be. So I'll leave this unmarked, but everything else here has been marked. So now we need two of each of these wings. So I'm gonna double this up on another piece of cardboard. We'll cut two cardboard pieces together. I only need one of these, so we'll just cut that out separately. Now, just to make sure my two pieces of cardboard stay together as I'm cutting it, I'm going to use some thumbtacks to push through the cardboard so it'll hold the two pieces together so they don't move as I'm cutting. Now, I'm going to be using a box knife to cut this cardboard. If you're not bold enough to be using a box knife, or you can't use a knife comfortably, or you have no experience using a knife, Make sure you always get an adult to help you. Always make sure your knife is very sharp if you are cutting with cardboard because a dull knife can slip off the cardboard and cut your finger. So if you're not bold enough to use a knife, make sure you get an adult to help you. All right, now we've got all the pieces we need to make the wings, so let's start assembling them together.
All right, so now we're gonna attach the straps where you need to go so they can be strapped onto the body. First thing we'll do is creases here. There we go, so now these are prepped for getting the straps on. All right, so we've got the elastic strap in here. We're gonna connect this now to the strap anchors. Once you've connected them in, it should be tight. You shouldn't be able to pull it off easily. You can tighten it pulling this, but you shouldn't be able to loosen it by pulling the longer part. If it does come right out, it means you put it in the wrong way, so just try putting it in through a different way. So this is going to be one strap. That strap is going to go from here, on the other side of course, but from here to about here. So let's cut, cut around there. Perfect, so this one is done, and we'll do the same thing with the other one. Now there we go, they're both the same length. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to flip this whole thing over. And there we go, so this will go along the body and strap onto whoever's wearing it. If you need it to be tighter, you just pull on these to tighten it up. So we're done the straps to attach it to the body. We're done the wings. The next thing we have to do is attach it to the arms. So once this is worn, your arms are gonna go down this bar and you wanna have some kind of cuffs over here to attach your arms so that it's easy for you to open and close your wings. All right, so now that means that we need sort of a cuff over here to attach to your arm. Now the best way to do this is to actually measure out the length of whoever's wearing this, their arms, and put the cuff around where their wrist would be or maybe a little bit higher. So for now, I'm gonna use this joint over here, uh, but you might need to make additional holes to add more Wonder Bolts in here if you need your joint for the cuff to be a little different place. But I'm gonna use this one over here because this looks about the right length. So you can use your hole punch to collapse the corrugation in the cardboard to make it more bendable. There we go, so now we have the cuffs. Now let's attach them to the wings. Now, because we're attaching cuffs here, we're gonna switch out these blue Wonder Bolts for the longer orange ones, just to give us enough room for the cuffs. And we're done. So now when your arm goes through this cuff, if you open up your arms and spread them out, your wings will come out. And if you bring your arms down to your sides, the wings will collapse. So 
So thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked this video on how to make articulated wings out of Wonderbolts. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel to see more videos on really cool projects you can make with Wonderbolts. Make sure to hit that bell icon too so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video.